Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vishnu. Today's topic is so today we are going to discuss about SAP FS your topics for interview. Today I am going to explain how to prepare the how to, how we have to prepare for the interview in your simple steps. Okay, so in SAP we have so many topics. So here I have given few major topics to prepare for the interview. So first we have to start with FI enterprise structure, global parameters, new GL concepts, accounts payable, accounts receivable, and asset accounting. These are only for the FI. CO we will discuss in next class. Okay. So in these topics we have to concentrate. I have given few important questions, mostly asked questions in this video we are going to discuss. So first one, we will start with FI Enterprise Structure. What kind of questions they will ask from FI Enterprise Structure? See here, so we have so many steps in FI Enterprise Structure, but I have given only few most important questions only here we are going to discuss. So coming to FI Enterprise Structure, so the interviewer may ask about, the first question he may ask about, explain about that FI Enterprise Structure. So we had to explain about one by one so we had to explain about so in enterprise structure first we had to there is there are two parts are there one is a definition part and other one is a assignment part so in first part we had to create the company company code business area functional area credit control area we had to create after that we had to assign we had to do that assignment part so we had to assign our company to company code business area so we have to explain about all these steps one by one so this is about that fi enterprise structure so in fi enterprise structure we have to learn that completely end to end process how to create the company company code business area so we no need to explain all about i mean all the things we have to explain the process so what is the first process what is the second process and what is the next process okay so first process is a definition and second pro process is the assignment so we have to explain about we have to explain like this so the most important question is a credit control area so in most of interviewer will ask what is the use of credit controlling area in sap so this is a very very important question so we have to concentration we have to do more con we have to do more concentration on this credit control area so we have to explain what is the use of credit controlling area so how we are going to use the credit controlling area okay so sometimes they will ask what are the fields you will get at the time of creating the credit controlling area so at the time of credit at the time of creating the credit controlling area we can see some some fields are there so we have to explain about those fields so, so like uh, currency fiscal year credit limit these are the main important fields at the time of creating the credit controlling area and we have to explain the t code is a ob45 so whenever they ask the question we have to give the brief introduction brief introduction means we have to give only main main points so, so we have to tell what is the t code and what are the main fields okay and we have to explain what is the main use of credit controlling area okay so this one we have to check so the next topic is a global parameters so come in fi enterprise structure we have to learn that what is the fi fi enterprise structure process and what is a credit controlling area these topics are we have to concentrate so coming to global parameter so global parameters are a combination of few steps so these are the very important steps okay so they may ask about explain the chart of accounts in sap and what are the chart of accounts types so first we have to explain what is a chart of accounts and how many types we have so we have three types of chart of accounts as you know it's operational chart of account group chart of account and country specific chart of accounts and we have to uh, give the example okay so this is a very very important question so we had to tell the t code also so along with the t code we had to tell how many types of chart of account so presently uh, and we had to mention very very important is so every company should use one operational chart of account we have three types of chart of account operational country specific chart of accounts excuse me 
so every company should use operational chart of accounts okay these are mandatory that the group chart of accounts those are the optionals okay so next up next question is uh, explain about fiscal year so here we have to learn what is the fiscal year what is the use of fiscal year so fiscal year we have first we have to explain what is the fiscal year we have to give simple example if it is a, any indian company our financial year is a uh, 1st April to 31st March. Suppose if it is any US company, the financial year is a 1st January to 31st January. So fiscal year, it will change based on that country. Okay, so default we have V3, we are using V3 fiscal year for Indian companies. V3 sta starts from 1st April to 31st March. So like that K0, K1 also there. So the, those we are using for that US company. So fiscal year means if you are doing SAP implementation for any country based on the country financial year we are going to take the fiscal year so we have to explain like this so the next question is uh, what is the use of posting period variant in SAP so we have to explain about main use of the posting period variant suppose sim in simple way we have to tell suppose uh, we are we are doing I mean we are doing posting for April month so we have to open only April month periods only and we have to close the previous month's periods. Suppose what is the use of posting period means? So here we are going to restrict that authorization. So here users they cannot pass that entries in previous months. Suppose this is the April month, they have to pass transactions only in April month. They cannot pass the transaction in March month like that. Here we are going to do the restrictions in posting period variant okay these are the main things we have to explain these main parts okay next one uh, what is the use of field status variant in SAP and roles of posting keys what is the main roles of posting keys in line items so we have to explain what is the use of field status and roles of posting key every line item has a posting key right debit and credit so we had to we had to learn so what is the debit posting key and what is the credit posting key okay so these are the very important question in global parameters topics coming to new GL concept new GL concept in any in every interview they will ask at least one one question from the new GL concepts so we have three major new GL concept first one is a parallel accounting document splitting and profit center and segment reporting see here I will give brief introduction suppose in case if you get any question related to parallel accounting system concept in SAP the interviewer may ask what is the use of parallel accounting okay so we can explain in simple way uh, parallel accounting system is suppose one company is a uh, one company is called uh, um, Tata so Tata is suppose Tata is doing their business only in India that time parallel accounting is non it's not mandatory suppose BMW is there BMW is an international company example so they are running their business in India as well as US so that time we have to use the parallel accounting see here few companies are there they are doing business only in India only in one country not in other country that time parallel accounting is not necessary so if, if you have any branches in other countries that time we have to use the parallel accounting so this is a very important note okay after explaining this thing we can go for that other I mean what is that the other concepts of parallel accounting okay like leading ledger non leading lecture we have to explain those things okay so next one is a document splitting so we have to explain about the what are the types of document splitting active splitting passive splitting zero balance splitting and we have to give the example what is the use of active splitting what is the use of passive splitting and what is the use of zero balance splitting so these are the main points okay the same time profit center and segment reporting purpose so why we are using the profit center and segment so for the reporting purpose we have to explain to him okay so these are the main three topics related to new GL concepts okay next one is the accounts payable so accounts payable accounts receivable we have to learn only I mean these are the very important questions what is the use of accounts group in SAP see now accounts payable accounts receivable we are maintaining accounts groups accounts groups why we are maintaining suppose we have suppose coming accounts payable we have 
different different types of vendors uh, one is a domestic vendors some others are the internet domestic vendors means we are doing we are purchasing the things from local in within india we are doing that uh, purchase suppose in case if you purchase anything from other country those are that uh, we are doing import from the import from other countries those vendors we are making a separate group for all indians we are making a domestic vendor for all international we are making as a import vendors so accounts group means based on the vendor category we are making a different different groups okay so next one difference between fb60 invoice and miro invoices see here in sap we have different different types of invoices are there like vendor invoice we have two types of vendor invoices are there fb60 invoices and MIRV invoices. In upcoming classes, I will explain deeply about what is that FB60 invoices, what is that MIRV invoices. Now, I will give a brief introduction. See here, we have two types of invoices. One is a PO based invoices and non PO based invoices. Suppose, I will give one simple example. Uh, take that monthly expenses like internet charges, rent. These are our monthly expenses. For this monthly expenses, we no need to raise the PO. So directly we can raise the invoice to vendors. Those are called normal without PO based invoices. We are going to record in FB60. And few invoices we are maintaining PO based. We are purchasing some raw material, some finished products. So that time we are raising the PO. So those are related to PO invoices. So that that invoices we have to record through MIRO. So our monthly expenses, miscellaneous expenses for that PO is not required. So those are we are going to record with FB60. If there is any PO involved, we have to record in MIRO. Okay, this is the main difference between FB60 and MIRO. And this is a very important question. Can you explain the link between KG and KR relationship in FBL1N? This is a very very important question so here you have to see the logic here suppose i will give one simple example suppose there is an invoice is there we have raised the invoice for 10000 rupees and and we have passed the credit memo for the 2000 rupees now the total invoice value is a total invest value is the 8000 rupees okay so now how can you find the relationship between kr and kg means this is the invoice number 78986 okay so in sap if you run that fbl1 and you can see around 10000 line items are there okay so in 10000 line items now my question is how can you find that exact this is we have passed KZ 2000 rupees against this invoice. Here we can understand. But in ABL 1 n how can you understand this 2000 is against this 10,000? So here we there should be a relationship between this KZ and KR. So this is the question. So in ABL 1 n how can you identify the exact KZ against particular invoices? So if you run that ABL 1 n how can we find this 2000 is against to this 10,000 okay so if you run that fbl1 and so there is one option is there from layout we have to get this option that option is called invoice reference okay so there is a one field name is called invoice reference with this invoice reference we can give the link between kr and kz invoice reference means so automatically this invoice reference is a system generated number this is the system generated number example suppose this is the invoice number again is this invoice number system automatically generated this number okay at the same time if you pass the kg against this invoice automatically system will generate the same invoice reference number to kg also see here in invoice reference 
this is the main menu like right so in invoice if you selected invoice reference from layout you can see same number for kr and kz if you filter this uh, reference number so automatically it will display even if you pass one i have passed one more kz one more kg for thousand rupees so that time also same system will generate the same reference number this is a very very important whenever you are preparing that fsd document function, functional specification for g report this is a very very important to get the link between invoice and kg document or kr document on any others okay so this is a process to find that link between again is the kr total how many kgs are there okay we have to in coming class i will exp i will show this part in sap so that time you guys can understand easily okay. so in accounts payable is done so next one accounts receivable also same we can this question is enough next one asset accounting these are the most common questions asset class how can you run the depreciation can we calculate the depreciation for one day asset sale procure entries these are the most common questions along with that we have to learn FIMM integration and FISD integration every in, in every interview they will ask one exact question is that is called where do you do FIMM integration and FISD integration in next class I am going to explain interview questions along with that answers thank you thank you guys